Okay, so it's a special day here. I'm out for a ride, which is always a good day, but I'm actually out for a ride with Tracy Mosey today, the seven times national downhill champion, world downhill champion, and three times Enduro Series world champion. That's quite a few race wins, Tracy. Do you know how many races you've actually won? I've no idea. You seem to know a lot more about me than I do myself, I think. I've been swatting up on the stats. I can remember a few of those. What do you think is the biggest difference between Enduro and racing downhill? Like, I guess training-wise changes, but skills and things like that? They definitely got, they're both hard and you know the final straight of Fort William pretty brutal and it's such an intense focused effort that you really have just given absolutely everything. Whereas in Jura you know you've got a long day so I always feel like you're kind of leaving a bit in the tank so maybe not quite as intense. So what about you know the feeling of winning a race, what's the best for you? I still think you know a world champs down on title for me is going to be the best, the best emotion. It's that instant, you get that instant result. Whereas Enduro is like a painful, it's a personal achievement, but I think that just massive feeling of elation is definitely the animal races give it that. Let's talk about girls racing, specifically younger girls. Um, I always think there's, we're kind of lacking the, the numbers for girls. How do you think we can try and encourage that? I think for me it's a, the first step is getting women out riding. Yeah. Just coming out for a day like today, going for a bike ride, for it to become the normal thing for females to do as well. Whereas that's, that's the starting point. And then once you get people out riding, then eventually they get kind of, well, I've got racing, you know, it just it goes, stems from there, I think. And uh, yeah, the more girls you see in the limelight, hopefully the more we're going to get encouraged to come out and give round to bike and a go. So if you could attribute your success to anything, what would it be, you know? hard work, skill, natural talent, those sort of things? I think a lot of it is growing up as a kid on the farm, doing loads of sports, being active, being outdoors, you know, always doing activities, having an older brother. Ed was a massive influence. Let's not forget Ed Mosley, the super fast elite downhill racer in his time. Always gave me that challenge to try and keep up with him, to try and do the skills he was doing. I think that's a big thing, just having that competitiveness from my brother as well, always wanting to beat him. Let's say we had a reunion, 15, 20 years time, yourself, Rach Latton and Caroline Chausson. I'm guessing it's still be quite a competitive affair. <laughs> Who do you think would be fastest? Um, <laughs> the person that's still riding their bike, hopefully, which I'm pretty sure I will definitely be that person. I'd like to say I've got a pretty good shot, I reckon. 20 years time. We've had some questions sent in by the viewers. I'll fire them at you. This one's from Abby Senior. She asks, what inspired you to ride bikes? What's your favourite part of the Malvern Hills to ride? Ooh, um, I guess my inspiration came from growing up close to the hills, living on a farm, older brother that raced. That was the main thing. And the favourite place to ride, I think, would be on the Beacon, which is the biggest hill on the Malverns, and it's close to home, so I can pretty much ride off-road the whole way there. So you ride from home and yep. bomb out? Oh. Yeah, pretty much always. This one comes from Blaze Wall. What are your favourite things about being a professional rider? And do you think that being a female, it's easier or harder to get noticed and become pro? So favourite things would definitely be the chance to travel. That's something that I always love. Getting the chance to travel the world, meet new people and ride your bike in so many different places is, is pretty amazing to call that a job. Um, and the women's question, tough one really. I think in a way there's, there's a lot fewer of us. So I actually think getting noticed it's a lot easier because there's a you know the much smaller number to start with. So getting noticed and getting some help I think is way easier for the girls. But then to take that to help that can make you take it on as a job and a full-time career, I think that's when it does get tricky. Um, so yeah, definitely a bit of both. Finley Anderson, what is your daily training routine and any tips for people who want to start racing? Um, that's a tough one because daily training definitely changes on time of year and generally once you get to the summertime you're pretty much race, race, race. But during the winter it's going to be a combination of some kind of some kind of bike riding, road or off-road, um, generally some kind of core, do quite a bit of yoga, pilates, that kind of stuff as well. Um, stretching, foam rollering, there's all, you know, all sorts of things. Um, I haven't done so much gym stuff in the last few years, not since downhill, but a good mixture of stuff. Um, even a little bit of running off-road sometimes. Do you like measure your time in hours on the bike or anything like that? I do record most of it now. I've got a Garmin, I tend to use that for most of my training rides and I do download that. Um, so I've got a record of all that kind of stuff. So it's quite interesting. Cool. 
And Thomas Sloan Curtin asks, what is your all-time favourite riding spot? Ooh, that is always such a hard one, but I think I probably had some of the best days out, big alpine rides, um, riding with my friends from Bike Verbier, so in that kind of Swiss Alps Valley, not in Verbier itself, but in that area, just epic days out on really natural trails. Yeah, we were lucky enough to get Ludo May to show us around there uh, yeah. earlier last year, it was Pretty amazing, cool. yeah, awesome place to ride. Yeah. Cool, thanks Tracy for your time and no talking to us. If you want to see more videos from GMDN, you can click up there for our Ask the Pros playlist. Or you can click down here for the Pro Bike playlist. Click in the middle to subscribe to GMBN and give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. I did. I did. <laughs>